I've read your mother's book. What did you think? And now, really. The characters seem to be from another planet. That's my mother and her friends. It made me realize that my reading was a bit out of date. The English of Hardy, Foster, Lawrence. I've read some Graham Greene. Oh, it's still there. Move away from the big cities, you can still find people punting and eating cream teas. Not a black face in sight. Kate works very hard at being modern. You're really worried, aren't you? I need David to tell me what to say tomorrow. If I'm sent back, I will be arrested and sent to prison. Come here. Kneel down. And repeat after me. What is this? Just do it. Will. Will. You. You. Marry me. What? Marry me. Uh, uh, I mean it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I... I can see that, Laura, but, uh... You just can't offer yourself like that. You hardly know me. Yeah, well, I mean, just a, a marriage of convenience. Convenience? You would marry for convenience? So you can stay here, you get your freedom of the city, or whatever it's called. Uh, no, Laura. Well, people do it all the time. I mean... One of Kate's friends did it. A gay American actor it worked out all right. And I suppose your parents wouldn't mind. My father's not interested, and Kate would probably be jealous. So is that why you would do it? Well, what difference does it make as long as you get to stay here? And what would you get? I would get to do something worthwhile for once. No, Laura. It's the obvious thing to do. You don't want to go and stay with some weird religious freaks. They have you on your knees praying with them every five minutes. <sighs> My mother was made to Cardinal Conway in Cape Town. I was brought up alongside his children. He was a religious freak who housed a great number of people in his church. He can't help you now, Joseph. No. I can. You are dreaming, Laura. Why? Why am I dreaming? Because we are talking about tomorrow. Legally, I do not exist. I can't get a job, let alone get married. But there must be some way. No. Or other people. It's out of the question. Oh, bugger off, then! No, please don't. You told me to leave. I didn't mean it, all right? Why is everyone so angry all the time? Everywhere you look in this country, people are angry. Oh, and you? You're not angry? Oh, oh that's it. It's not really anger, not passion. It's a kind of a bad temper. Everyone is pissed off. The person sitting next to you on the bus, in the shopping queue... It's not the anger that means anything, Laura. I can't sense that any good will come of it. It seems anger rooted in despair. And those rather snap judgments. Well, you tell me. <sighs> Angry and you drink too much. See, you even sound like a husband. Oh, furthermore, like. Cheers. <sighs> Am I going to see you again? It depends what happens tomorrow. I hope I do, because... Because what? I like to. Yes. And will you stay here with me tonight? All right. I am flattered. Now, I don't want you to be flattered. I flattered means no. I've... I've bought the condoms, too. No, it's... it's no, just no, no, no! Don't explain. You just make it worse. Please don't get angry with me, Laura. No. I have to get tomorrow over with. I am trying to get a grip on myself. Of course. <laughs> Laura, <clears throat> tenderness right now will tear me apart. Sure, bye! It seems like you're always walking out on me. Laura, Laura. Oh, come on, Laura.
That wasn't very fatherly. No. We wouldn't have to do anything. We would. Good night.